got into cycling because I didn't run anymore. When I started cycling, I didn't even know how to pump up a tire. I bought a garage sale bike from my neighbor, and I just started racing it because I always raced as a runner. So I thought, well, I have a bike now. I should race this. And it turned out to be much more complicated than I thought it would be. I am 51 right now. I'm a mom and a nurse and a wife and a sister and a daughter. I'm just me. I'm Jennifer. We need any race I think feels really good, but I felt like when I got on a hill climb that something special just kicked in and it just felt really fun and good and new. And being an older athlete especially, I think finding something new and growing into it was just such a great experience. On the days when I'm doing my best, there's something that clicks and I feel lighter. I feel like somehow every little bump it gets steeper and I feel like it's not as hard as it was before. Like there's a part of me that doesn't really want it to end and then I know that I'm having a good day. Like if I feel like I really want this to end any minute now, then I'm probably not having a good day. 2020 as a nurse uh, started out with a lot of dread and fear and there's so much unknown and the, when the patients started coming in and they were so sick and not really knowing how virulent the virus was, like how easily could we as healthcare providers get it and we were hearing stories about um, patients, the patient load in New York and the nurses in New York and how everyone's just sick and struggling and I felt like there was a tsunami coming towards us and I was just worried. I was just, I felt like I couldn't get rid of the worry. It, it just really wore me, wore on all of us. Worried about the patients coming and when the surge was going to hit us and how bad it would be and if we would be able to survive it ourselves. I felt um, like I didn't have very much balance because this new stress was just um, weighing so heavily on me and, and all of us. Just trying to figure out what we were supposed to be doing was really hard. Um, so early in 2020, I felt like my cycling suffered. Uh, and then after, it just wouldn't go away. The stress just wasn't going away. My coach helped me with coming up with some goals. We decided to just forget about racing all together and go after some times that I have on some local hill climbs. Really gave me a good focus and something to think about other than all the craziness in the world. <laughs> when I get to the top, I just feel so amazing. I feel like I'm on top of the world. And nobody, nobody knows it. Nobody, nobody would even care that I did that. But all the rest of the whole rest of the day, I feel like I have like a superwoman uh, emblem under my clothes all day. Like, I just did something amazing. And nobody knows, nobody needs to know. But it makes me feel great. It makes me feel more confident about everything else I do in my life. Because I can do this other thing too. One thing that motivates me to keep doing all the work that I'm doing every day is I tell myself that my future self will feel so much better if I do this ride today. Next week or next year, I'll feel so much better if I keep doing this. If I do it today, I'll feel better tomorrow. My future self depends on myself today doing these things. And that's, that really motivates me. Uh, it's okay to fail. <laughs> It's okay to just try your best. It's okay not to be the best. It's okay. It's really just okay to be yourself and um, do take your strengths and apply that in the best way that you can. Um, well, we're all getting older, so you can't really go back on that. And progress is the name of the game, so yes, I, I think you can keep getting better. I just don't know when, eventually, uh, I'll slow down. I just don't know when. I'm sure it's out there, but I, I don't think it's tomorrow. <laughs>